Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I got another review for you. Um, this is going to be from DC Comics, Batman Fear State Omega. It's titled number one, but it's the uh, the only issue. Um, it has a ton of. Uh, it is written by James uh, Tinian the Fourth, but it has a lot of artists tied to it. Uh, predominantly, the main story is done by. Uh, Robert uh, Federici and then the rest of the book has different artists including um, Christian Deuce, uh, Ryan Benjamin, uh, uh, Gillian March and then Trevor uh, Harrison and then it's got colors done by Chris uh, Sadamayer and then uh, letters by Clayton Cowles. Um, I will show you off uh, some of the art at the very end of this review um, if you interested in looking at the art um, uh, basically this is the, the very end of uh, Fear State. Everything is already like um, kind of ended but this is just kind of tying up uh, some of the loose ties uh, to what is going down. The book starts off and it's basically them uh, transporting um, you know a <laughs> scarecrow who has been recently captured after the events of Fear State and he is being transported from the police station to the newly constructed Arkham Tower. Um, uh, they, they put him in a truck, they get him in a van, you know, they, they go on his way. As soon as they start going, you know, the, the inmate, the, uh, prison, like the, like the, the guards that are, um, transferring him, uh, start seeing, um, you know, like they're being uh, messed with the fear toxin or whatever, and Scarecrow stating that he's a bigger, you know, villain that they know of, that he's not done with the fear state thing, that kind of stuff. And um, basically, he proceeds to, you know, being rescued by some of his goons and stuff like that. But as soon as he opens the door to exit and escape the, uh, you know, the, uh, the prison vehicle, it, it's Batman. And Batman's already been watching, you know, his thugs. He already knew Scarecrow was going to try this kind of thing. He, you know, he puts Scarecrow into the Batmobile. It's a version of the Batmobile. Um, there's even a reference that Scarecrow likes his tank, tankier versions of the Batmobile versus the sportier um, car that Batman's using in this comic. But um, eventually, you know, Batman just puts him in the Batmobile and he, he's transporting him to, uh, you know, the newly built Arkham Tower. And as they go along, you know, it's just a conversation back and forth between Scarecrow and Batman about all the loose ends, you know, and, and Scarecrow's kind of like, you know, well, what about this and what about that, you know, I, I kind of accomplished this. And they go into what Miracle Molly, you know, and basically she took kind of the uh, brunt in from the Insanity Collective because then they didn't really do anything bad, but um, the fact that they, they you know, hit, Scarecrow had used some of their technology to take over the city and stuff like that. So uh, Miracle Molly does end up going to jail. She has to forfeit some of her technology. And they say the rest of the Insanity Collective got got pardoned or whatever. So they show them like uh, kind of disappearing into the um, the underground that is Gotham. They show the um, the aftermath of Saints uh, Industries, like Flying Fortress or whatever, and at the end they had crashed it into the uh, Gotham Bay, and so now they show like Fox Industries, like pulling it out of the, um, you know, out, out of the uh, bay. They also show um, kind of uh, the next Batman, you know, Jace, and he's kind of watching over Fox Industries as they're pulling it out. And Batman makes a reference that, uh, because Scarecrow was like, oh, I heard there was another Batman running around during this whole thing. I didn't happen to run into him, though. And um, Batman makes a reference that he's like, yeah, I'm aware of him, but uh, we're, I'm going to get into that a little later. You know, I'm going to deal with Jace, you know, in the future. Um, they do show that Saint Industries now with Saint, Simon Saint being locked away for everything you know, him being, you know, directly tied to everything and the, thing, and the magistrate failing the way that it did, the magistrate gets dissembled and then everything from St. Industries is sold off and they show, like, that it's mainly governments around the world buying up his tech and stuff like that and they show that Amanda Waller is one of the major, you know, um, people buying the tech. Um, <clears throat> They also touch base on Sean Mahoney, Peacekeeper One, and him stating, you know, Scarecrow stating that he that, that 
that was one of his specific victories during the Fear State, and uh, we know it is and stuff like that. But they do show that uh, they are trying to dismantle the tech that that um, you know Simon Industries equipped um, <clears throat> Sean Mahoney with. And in the process of them trying to dismantle, um, it allows Peacekeeper One to escape, and he ends up killing all the doctors that were trying to dismantle his arm and stuff like that. And he he eventually escapes, and he's on the run. Um, Batman does make a, a comment about that that he should have been there during the dismantling. That that someone jumped the gun, and it's going to be like a further investigation that's going forward. Um, Another thing they touched based on was that Catwoman was checking in on, uh, you know, Poison Ivy. The last she saw, she was dropping off the, the, you know, the because at one point they were split into two forms. Ivy was with Queen Ivy and the innocent form of Ivy, and now they are one. And Catwoman is just basically checking to make sure that it's like the good version of Ivy and not some kind of evil version. And um, when she creeps into the um, you know, the abandoned, the, it's the, um, like, they call it Eden, but it's like the Utopia area underneath Gotham that, um, where, where Ivy is, but this pure Ivy now, where she finds, uh, Ivy, it's basically Ivy and Harley, and they're sleeping, and cuddling and stuff, and Catwoman's like, okay, this is exactly what I wanted to see, and, uh, before she can leave, that's when, you know, she runs into the gardener, and the gardener kind of explained that she's not fond of Gotham because all the the superheroes and villains and the costume stuff and and she's leaving she was just there to check on Ivy kind of thing um, but before she can leave uh, Ivy does uh, wake up from cuddling with um, Harley and she um, she kind of cuts off the gardener and you know now knowing what the gardener did and how she split Ivy in two that was kind of the main reason she did it because she had took some of I Ivy's innocence and placed it into a seed and that grew the other Ivy. Um, and Ivy just stating that she wasn't, uh, that she didn't approve of that, that that it will never happen again and if she ever shows her face in Gotham kind of thing that she will kind of kill her and blah blah blah. You know, she's being nice now but she, does, she didn't like, you know, being split in two and, and being um, you know, kind of used in a game type of thing, um, and and she kind of feels like it's like a type of control and and slavery kind of thing, and you know that that if um, the gardener would have used her other essence in a different way, it could have turned out differently, and and Ivy didn't like that kind of thing. Um, but lastly, they do touch on um, like Bao and with the the clown hunter and what you know what what he's going to do. And uh, basically, you know, they show him, like, still going after Joker thugs and stuff like that. And Batman shows up and Bow's like, look, I'm not going to do your game. He was like, I, I, I admire you for what you're doing and stuff like that. But I just, I feel like I have a different way to do this. And I don't care to learn your story and this and that to find out if your way is the right way kind of thing. And uh, Batman's like, okay, I get that, you know. And then during this, Ghostmaker shows up and he's like, look, I think me and Bao have kind of more in common, but I can teach Bao more, you know. And so basically Bao ends up leaving um, and accepting uh, Ghostmaker's offer to, to be trained by Ghostmaker. And that's that's where Bao's head to, headed to, the Clown Hunter. Um, but the very end of the comic, it just shows... Um, you know, Batman finally pulling up to Arkham Tower and delivering uh, Scarecrow to the Arkham Tower, stating that, you know, we're going to see more of Arkham Tower coming up in Detective and Batman and, and this and that, saying that it will continue directly in uh, Detective Comics uh, one, 1047. Um, and that's where this, this issue leaves off at. Um, Overall, I loved it. It did tie up uh, kind of a lot of the missing, you know, the, the, it, they were missing, but it was like the ending threads, you know, what happened to these characters after this kind of thing. And I kind of dug it. I mean, the whole comic is basically drawn by uh, Ricardo Federici, and I mean, it, it, it's dope. It has a whole horror theme to it. it. It's not scary or anything like that, but just the look of it, the whole drive with uh, Batman and Scarecrow was, was pretty dope, and some of the conversation is, is funny and also kind of scary in its own merit. Um, but Scarecrow kind of leading on that he's not necessarily done, that this, you know, that might be like, you know, plan A into a bigger, you know, more organized 
you know, part of plans kind of thing. But um, that's my review. I'll let you uh, check out some of the art. I'll let you on y'all's way. Please like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm just kind of, and there's so much in this. It was a big book, but um, I'll just kind of span you through some of that, some of Ricardo's art, and then it flips, flips through, touch and base with the Ivy and the Insanity uh, Collective. And this was, you know, them pulling the um, the Simon Saint floating headquarters out of the bay. That's actually uh, the next Batman right there. Amanda Waller. Some of the, you know, Batman and Scarecrow in the car. A lot of that, that's what that is, is Batman and Scarecrow in the car. I love Peacemaker's new look now that he's on the run. <clears throat> More of a Ricardo's art. Gamilio right here, Gamilio, uh, Gillian March right here, man. This was uh, pretty amazing too. Also kind of scary. Um, but hey guys, uh, I highly suggest checking it out. It is the end of the story, um, and we're about to start a new Batman journey. All right, guys. Bye.